Hello everyone, welcome to Kim's Crochet and Knits and this is a crochet channel where we talk about crochet and things that I have made and possibly things, patterns you've made and I've made from your pattern and showed other people here in the YouTube world. <laughs> so today here is an example of something I have made by a YouTuber here on YouTube. And her channel name is Unique Stitch Designs. She has so many wonderful tutorials. So this is a hooded scarf and I absolutely love it. And this stitch, oh my God. Okay, don't look too closely because some, <laughs> some of the blocks are longer than others. I think I lost count somewhere doing the, how high they should be, but that's okay, they all blend. So this is the, I think it's called the basket weave stitch, the basket weave. I don't know, but I absolutely love it. And when I, she did her scarf, she didn't put any edging on the edges, but I wanted some edging. So I had some faux fur, so I thought I would go around the edging in the faux fur. Anyways, what did I use for this? Ha ha ha, right here in the pocket. So I used Fun Fur, the Loops and Threads Fun Fur, and the color that I used of the Fun Fur was Silver Tipped Black, is what it was called, Silver Tipped Black. Oh, I just love it. It's so soft, so, so soft. And then I decided to put some uh, faux fur here on the pockets, where she just left the pockets. I like the way she did her pockets, so. They're kind of neat the way they were done. But yeah, so I used faux fur and I didn't use the whole ball. I still got, excuse me, I still got this much left out of the ball. So I was thinking I might end up doing um, boot cuffs for boot. So I'll do the boot in the weave here and then just on the top, I'll put some faux fur just on the top of the boot cuff. And I thought that would make a cute little set because it does have a hood and there's the hood there. Oh, geez, got my finger underneath there that hurt. Well, didn't really hurt, but, but isn't this gorgeous? And I made the hoodie nice and big. I like the oversized hoodie. So there's lots of room in there. And I love the way that the hood is put together. I, I sewed it up, up the middle there, which made for a really long, but at least they all worked out the same. But yeah, it's a free tutorial. Well, it's a tutorial here on YouTube. And I am actually going to end up making another one. I love this one. And I do have a picture of me wearing it. And I will put that at the end of the video. Or you'll see the little slideshow. But the main yarn that I used was the Schitt's Creek yarn at Lion Brand. I love this yarn. It was $14.99 a ball. I paid five bucks for it when it was on sale at Michael's. So this was Schitt's Creek and the colorway is the Premier. That's all it says. I don't know if that's the colorway or if the color is the number C343C. I don't know. But um, it's a medium four weight and I love this yarn. Oh my God. And there is a lot of yardage in one of these balls. Here's a full one here. And there is, I think 600 meters or something like that. I can't remember. Jeez, you know, when you want to find something really quick, it never happens, does it? Okay, seven ounces, 200 grams. 372 yards. Oh yeah, 200 grams. What am I talking about? 600. I was thinking it needs, okay, you need about 600 uh, meters, I think, or 600 grams to make this. The one that she made anyway. That's what it requires. I'm pretty sure is what she said. But yeah, so this is machine wash, gentle, tumble dry. And like I said, it's a four weight. And I think this goes, this is on sale a lot. And I don't know if I just heard somebody saying that this was on sale at Lion Brand online. Not sure, but there's quite a few colors. This color I really like because it's a light tan and you can wear this with a lot of things. This color 
Oh, I just love it. It fits so nicely. Of course, you can make it to your length because I'm longer. So I made my scarf a little bit longer than what she actually had said because I have long arms. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with this. And I used, I think, whatever the yarn or the needle size that she used. Oh, a five millimeter. That's what I used. My five millimeter tulip. That's what I used. So, highly recommend this pattern. I recommended it already to Melissa and Angela. I was like, look at this pattern. And I sent them the link and everything. So, I will leave the link down in the description below. And I just think it was just such a fun pattern. And I'd had this one for, for a couple years now, so I'm glad I got to use it. I still have some other fun furs, so hopefully I can get those used up too. But yeah, I might end up making one for my sister as well. But until next time, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this. I hope you love the scarf, hooded scarf that I made. I love it. And until next time, we'll see you then. Bye, guys.